Hi everyone, a lot of customers ask us how to connect servo motor and the Mark III controller. Here we're going to do some quick demonstration. This is a Mark III controller with a Mark III card. This is a servo motor, uh, servo drive and servo motor. Basically, we just connect 220 volt single phase in here. Here you can do 220 volt three phase or 220 volt one single phase is okay. And here's a uh, uh, connect to power to uh, servo motor. This is a signal come from Mark III. And for the signal, we just use only five signal can control this servo motor already. The uh, number 18 and 19 go to 5 volt, and number 6 go to the first one for the pulse. Uh, number 7 go to the direction. On the third one, we will use a pin two here, and then the last one for the ground. Only five uh, signal is should be good enough. Okay, and for the drive, we just have to set for the uh, digital, which is a PA parameter 1 should be 1, and then the PA parameter 27 should be 1, and that's it. And here to set up the Mark 3, so go to configuration, motor tuning, the step, just set it to about 10,000, should be good enough, velocity is depend on you guys, and okay, this is for the X axis. Okay, we demonstrate for the X axis, and here we go. And you can, this is touch screen, can move. Really nice, touching. See, you can lower the speed, move X. You can see it there. Digital come up and X go up. See, X negative. Really nice, moving. Right, and you can also increase the speed faster. And you can also include it here, configuration, motor tuning, and then you can change to maybe the 150, save, access setting, OK, and then you can see it move faster, right? And you can also change the gear ratio on parameter 18 and 19 to go even faster or slower, depending on you guys. Mm -hmm. And you can also do the MDI, you can go to G, 1 x 20 f 300 speed and then you can see enter move and you can see digital here right 20 exactly mm, no 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 dry so we'll dry nicely okay thank you